Nice knowing ya. Flippin' hell. Boo! Wah! Off it! Git! Yeah! Hoo-ya! Granddad! daddy -os. Golden oldies! Come on! Come on, Codgers! Geezers! Hey, you guys! Hoo-ya-pa! Oh, yeah! Hoop ma! <whistles> Oi, Gov! It's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. Let's head into town. There's better places than this to spend an evening. Shake a leg, Gov! I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. Not that I can talk, though, eh? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. Uh-oh, here comes trouble, Gov. Hey, hey, the horse princess is back. I say we make a move now, before it gets dark. Hold your horses, Grandad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. Crikey, I don't know what the old codger's on about sometimes. Sounds to me like we have to find that rider skeezer, right? So what we waiting for? I suppose we better do what he says. Should we get going then, Gov? Oi, Gov! You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. I'm the best there is when it comes to looking for people. It's my piece of resistance, isn't it? Let's get going, eh? What the? This ain't good, Gov. Come on! Look lively! Yeah, you can say that again. What was she rabbiting on about? Come round my house, she says. Uh, what? Gov! He said Dolmagus, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician you and the old granddad are after, innit? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? You what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever, I'll come and gov. Hang on a minute, wait. Cool, blimey, granddad, where'd you spring from? I'm Yengus, and this here's the gov. Up to? Me and the gov was just talking, that's all. Well, I'm glad you asked. The story of how me and the gov fell in together is an epic tale, full of laughter, frills and tears. All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well acted off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh light. Hold it right there. Who gave you permission to use my bridge then, eh? What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right. You're talking to none other than Yangus. The legendary bandit himself. The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way. Eh? <laughs> Just my bleeding luck. <sighs> Thank you, Governor. I thought I was done for. <laughs> You're having a laugh, Mister. No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gov. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treat me funny. Everywhere I went. Like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go. And not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. And that's when I run into the gov here. Well, I'm not finished yet. 
This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the gov helped me go straight. I should have known a bird wouldn't get a story like ours, gov. Still, no skin off my nose. Take it easy. No need to get excited. I know it hurts when you lose and all, but... Oi! You want to watch it? Don't go throwing accusations about. You don't want to get on my wrong side. Oi, what's with you two, eh? Two blokes ganging up on one bird. Behave. Oh, here you are, Gov. I've been looking all over for you. Gave that lot what for? <laughs> Now look here, we ain't done nothing wrong. Stole it? What? You little fibber. Uh, how many times have we got to tell you, eh? We ain't got nothing to confess. Uh, come here, you. What's your game, eh? First you grass on us for something we ain't done, and then you come and help us. That's all well and good, but you still don't know us from Adam. Ain't you worried about us being friends with this old monster, eh? You're just happy to let us go, are ya? God blimey! I know how you feel, Grandad. If only you weren't so, uh, green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Wait, Gov, I've got an idea. The town I used to live in, Ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something. Dead, sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick em, here we come. Looks like Grandad's having a bad day, eh? Not that I blame him. What he needs is a drink down the pub. That'll sort him out. Only how the hell are we going to get him into a town looking like that, eh? Hang on a minute. Here, Gov. The town I used to live in is down in the south of this continent. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure, Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in, no problem. Old Grandad here'd be able to get a drink. There's a mate of mine there who knows everything about everything. We calls him Brains. He'll know the story on Dormagus. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a preface. Come on, let's get going. Back to me bandit roots. Waiting? Boozing, more like. Come on, Gov. Let's forget about him and head over to Brains's. Some of us have got to keep our minds on the job, eh? We've got to find that Dalmagus. Well, this is Brains's gaff, but he looks like he ain't home. Ah, oh, well, we better get back to the pub and ask the old codger what he wants to do. Uh-oh, guess I should have known better. People round here don't care where you come from. They care about what you come with. Oh, keep your hair on, Grandad. Whoever it was, can't have gone far. They'll still be in town somewhere. Hold your horses, Grandad. Sorry, I mean, take it easy. This tow rag ain't good enough for the gov sword. All right, you. Let's hear it. Sell it down Beggar's Alley, did ya? To old dodgy Dave, eh? Right then. Hand over the dough. If I find out you've been telling me porkies, your brown bread, do you hear? No need to worry. The black market geezer he was talking about is a mate of mine. He'll give us back the horse princess if we give him back the dough. I mean money. Nah, mate. Wash me hands of all that. I'm travelling round with the governor here now. But that's not why I'm here. That legless old rump Mitz was in here before selling you an horse and cart, wasn't he? It's just that we need him back. They belong to the gov here, see? Mitz only went and half inched them. I gave him the squeeze, and he said he sold them to you. That's why we're here. You what? Who to? We need them back, desperate like. You what? Red, the old artful dodger herself. You're having a giraffe, aren't ya? I don't believe it. Now Red's mixed up in all this. 
It's the last thing I want to do right now. But we're going to have to pay her a visit. She lives in a gaff southwest of town. Nice little pad it is. Slap bang wallop in the middle of a lake. Come on, Gav. If we want to help the horse princess, that's where we got her head. To the southwest. I need to speak with Red. You're going to have to let us through. Don't you boss me around, mate. I ain't going nowhere till I see Red, so shift, skivvy. It's like this, Red. You bought an horse from the black market drum in Pickham, right? Well, it belongs to this bloke I'm travelling with, see? Someone pinched it off him and then sold it on. That's how it came to be in the shop. I ain't going to beat around the bush. I need it back. I'll pay whatever you want for it. Name your price. What? Not for nothing? Look, it ain't for me. It's for me mate. I've got to get her back. I'll do anything you want. What? Not that. You know I've been in that cave before and... Uh, right then. Guess I'll be on my way then, eh? Nah. You don't get it, do you, Grandad? We've got to make her think we're going to the cave for her. See? We've got to play it cool. Otherwise, she's going to think we've done nothing special. She won't have no grace, dude. There's the chest. The Venus tear is supposed to be locked away in that. Must be a real gem. This ain't the first time I've had a bash at this place. I ain't never managed to get as far as the chest, mind. But I ain't doing the off without it this time. We're going to get that Venus tear. So this is it, eh? The Venus tear. You beauty. You know, Gov, last time I tried to get this stone, I'd done it for red. Now we're just rivals, I guess. But I actually used to have a bit of a thing for red. Back in them days, she wasn't a scary old bird like she is now. And I was well green. So I thought I'd get her the Venus tear to impress her like. But I ended up doing myself an injury. And I had to leave it. Never thought I'd end up getting it like this, though. I wonder how it would have all turned out if I had got it back then, eh? <laughs> anyway, just me old wounds. Would you mind keeping this to yourself, Gov? Ain't the kind of thing you want going around. There, I got it. The Venus tear. Now, hand over the horse and cart like you promised. Oi, that ain't what you promised. That's a pretty low trick, Red. I'm surprised at ya. What? That was years ago. You can't dredge up the past like that. Yeah, right. I was out of line before, breaking me promise to you and all. I ain't surprised you're act off with me. But this ain't just about me now. I can't leave without the horse. It's for the guff. Look, do what you want with me. But I'm begging you, give the horse back. <laughs> well, yeah, fair enough. Thanks, Red, and sorry about everything. God, blimey! How about trying brains again? Maybe the old geezer will be around to give us some intelligence this time. Let's head back to Pickham. We've got to find out where Dolmagus is. Otherwise, we'd just be wandering round like headless chickens. Hello, brains. Long time no see. Back at last, eh? Always on the ball, eh, brains? We're looking for this bloke who looks like a clown. Goes by the name of Dolmagus. He's a slippery customer. Keeps getting away from us. Have you heard anything? The Western Continent? That's a bit hazy, isn't it? Can't you be more spiffic? Well, if you don't know nothing more, Brains, there ain't nothing more to know. We'll have to go to the Western Continent ourselves. Eh? Uh, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. No, we was just passing. The Gov's managed to get hold of this ship, right? So, no, I wasn't trying to show off or nothing. Golden Bennett, how did we end up getting into all this? Changed? How's that then? What you on about? We got the treasure, didn't we? And you ain't even hurt neither. All's well that ends well, innit? I was just thinking you might be lonely is all. 
Thought I'd drop in, see how you was. Oi, Gav! What you and the old codger jabbering on about back there, eh? Ain't we supposed to be swatting up on that ship? Come on, get a move on! Ah, <sighs> is this Harp Duffin' all? Love a duck, stone the crows, blimey O'Reilly! What the hell happened back there? Yeah, well at least we've got the boat up and running now, eh, Gov? Nice. Cool, blimey! Diamond, first a scamper and now this. We're on a banquet roll. Well, we don't know won't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's the spot there, lovely. Oh, oh, right there, lovely. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. What? You saying you can see the horse princess all proper like? Go oh, blimey, don't sneak up on me like that! I knew he'd say no. Here, Grandad, you'd have bitten my head off if I said something like that. I'm a king, you half with a twerp. Who'd want to have this bloke for a king, eh? Would you look at that? He can barely hold his own knife and he still thinks he stands a chance. Oh, what's going on, eh? The horse princess don't sound too happy this morning. <laughs> Oi, Gav! <laughs> we got one! We got one! Uh, uh, I was picking me no... Uh, I mean, I was picking me some flowers when I saw it. A blooming giant. One... One of them lizards. If that charmless geezer don't call it a day soon, we're never going to get the magic mirror. I reckon we should take him aside and tell him straight. Time to go, charmless. Oops, I nearly forgot. The reason for all that malarkey was so we could get the magic mirror. We better get on over to the castle, eh? There was a bloke in the castle who said the same thing. That's why we're here to see you. Thought you could give us some solicitation. We done it, Gav. We finally given that Dolmagus what he had coming. He had us going all round the houses, eh? I bet the old codger and the horse princess are back to normal now. They'll be having a right old time. Ah, Grandad! Finally transmorphed back to a human, eh? Hang on, Grandad. You still look like a freak. Oi, Grandad. Adam, we better be getting out of here soon. Gov! Gov! This ain't good, Gov! It's Jessica! She ain't nowhere around! When I woke up, a bed was empty and all the stuff had gone! An odd bunch? Mind your manners! What's odd about us, eh? Coming in, out with it, I dare ya! Here he is! You ain't gonna slip away this time! Put him up, Dolmagus! Cool, blimey! <sighs> Oh, stop your whinging, Grandad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on, you know. Just get on with it. How you feeling, Gov? You all right? I was worried about you, like. You was the only one who wouldn't wake up. This place belongs to the old granny over there. Lives here on her own, you know. We're not far from where the avalanche happened. She says we can stay here. Till the snow clears up a bit. And what's really amazing is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. God blimey, Grandma. Oi! You ain't getting off the hook that easy! Red, what on earth are you doing here? Oi, hold your horses. You can't just sail out and then run off. And there are monsters in here, you know. Look at you, going off half-cocked on your own. You must have a screw loose. Red, what are you doing getting yourself into this? Watcha, you look all right, are ya? Red, I, I didn't know you were here too. <laughs> Fine greeting that is, eh? 
Pleased to see you and all. No, I, I didn't mean... I didn't, I didn't mean it. Well, anyway, I see you got what you came for. Meaning, there ain't no point hanging round here anymore. Let's up it, eh? Here, do you score all that dosh in this cave? Blimey, you're a crafty devil, ain't ya? We got what we came for anyhow. Meaning, there ain't no point hanging round here anymore. Let's up it, eh? Well, we got what we came for anyhow. Time to make tracks. You what? Leave it out, Red. We ain't messing around here, all right? This is serious business. Ah, oh, suit yourself. I was only trying to be considerate. Cool, blimey! Ah, oh, not you and all. Fine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Cool, blimey! I don't know what to say. We done all we could, but it just weren't enough, like. Cool, blimey! Nah, I'm fed up with saying that old line now. Here! Yeah. Are you all right, mate? What's wrong with ya? What? You swallowed your gold rosary? What on earth did you go and do that for, eh? Why ain't it moving? Is it bust or something? I'll do it. It's me duty to the gov. You? What are you gonna do if you don't get out with everyone else, eh? Them nurses will finish you off when they come round. You ain't no match for them. You're a good bloke, Rolo! Hey, Red, what are you doing with your feet up, eh? We've got to give that rap form geezer a good hiding, remember? Oh, right -o. All right, keep your hair on. Once we've sorted this rap form geezer out, you'll get it straight back. Scout's on her. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, we're in trouble now. Time to leg it. We done it, Gav! We only went and bleed and done it! I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. <laughs> I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't one of your men, Grandad. G -g Grandad, you're sparkling! Nah, no, I mean literally! Take a look at yourself! But you don't look no different! You look exactly the same as before! <laughs> Guff! Hey, hey, long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your mug since we polished off that fat geezer. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse prince. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. All right, Red. There's no need to make me sound so flaming soft. Uh, any anyway, Gov. I heard the news. Edgar, eh? It don't get much better than that, does it? You deserve it, though. Blimey. What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. <coughs> well, we've got this far. Now we just have to take care of that knight. Yeah! You leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Hey, What's going on, Gav? Where's the princess? What's happened to the wedding? You what? I don't get it. But we better get a move on, Gav. It don't look good. Don't worry about us, Gav. You just get them out of here. I'll take care of these geezers. <coughs> <coughs> that gate's a whopper, isn't it? Wonder what's behind it, eh? Oh, what a spread, eh? 
I don't think I've ever eaten that much cheese in my whole life. Not that I'm complaining, mind. That was good grub. I'm just feeling a bit cosy round the old midriff. You reckon? I didn't notice nothing weird. But if it's bugging you like, why don't you ask that old Shem Wasip bloke, eh? How come he knows who you are, Gav? And what's all this about fate? You're having a bubble, aren't you? I'm a bleeding guest here. Get your serving boy to do it. Well, that's different, isn't it? Anyway, you sound with mates now, are you? That'll be that dragon graveyard place in the desert. South of Argonia, wasn't it? We should get down there, pronto. The dragon graveyard's a fair old way to the west of here, right? Lucky we can fly, eh? The wild lands, he said, right? That'll be where we got the boat, I reckon. I don't remember seeing what's his name round there, mind. Probably worth having a butcher's, though, eh? What's going on? Everything feels heavy all of a sudden. Whoa, you're Angelo's brother, ain't ya? What you doing here? Cool, blimey! Oi, Gav, over here, this way.